Quick tip. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Okay. Just click the link below. In Illustrator, you can align objects to the overall artboard, to your selections, or to an object you define as being key. To do this, you first come to Window, Align. Then with your Align palette, you can see that you have the ability to align objects as well as distribute these objects, again, among each other or to the artboard. So the artboard is that white area of your document that defines the overall trim size of your file. So here's my artboard and I have four objects. The first step is to select the objects that you want to align. I could select just two of these objects to align to each other or to the artboard, but in this case, I'm gonna go for all four objects. So on my keyboard, I could hit Command or Control A. With them all selected, I could use my line panel to left align these objects to each other. So your first move is to always know, do I wanna align these objects to each other or to the overall artboard? You define that first in your Align To panel. Next, you then click Left Align or Right Align them. See, if I grab a guide from my rulers, you'll see the edges of each of these objects are right aligned. So in addition to aligning objects left, center, or right, you have the ability to top, vertically align and bottom align objects. So once again, I'm going to select all with control or command A and now top align, center align and bottom align. So in addition to aligning these elements to themselves, Illustrator has the ability to align it to its artboard. So if I select that artboard from the align to panel first, then you'll see that these objects will align not only just to themselves against the artboard. Having it selected to the artboard, we can top align, and now you'll see that it goes to the very edge of the artboard, bottom align, bottom of the artboard, or vertical align center, puts it to the dead center of your overall artboard. So if you ever even want to put one object into the dead center of your overall artboard, you select it, you make sure it's set to artboard, then you vertically and horizontally center the object. So as if that wasn't enough, you can align objects not only to each other or the artboard, but you can set one object to be the key objects so that everything aligns to it. Here's an example. If I select all once again, and from here if I have align to selection, and then I vertically center It'll just choose the median distance to align all objects. But if I choose instead to align to key object, I can set which object that I want to align all other objects to. Here's how you do it. You select all once again, and this time choose align to key object. You'll see that this is grayed out until you have a selection. Once you have your selection and choose align to key object, you'll see the icon changes to a small key. Now you have to choose which object to align the others to. In this case, if I click on this round circle, then choose my horizontal align, it aligns to it. Pretty cool, right? You wanna see one more? Selecting all. This time I'll say align to key object, but choose this one, then left align. Then it's all left aligned based on the location of this object. Without setting your key object, 
If you were to align all of these objects to themselves without setting a key object, if you align to your selection, let's say left align, it will go to the furthest left object. See? Everything now left aligns to this top object's location. Same thing for any of these others. It will always go to the furthest, the most top, the most bottom, the most left, or the most right. But if you set it to be a key object, then it will all align to it. So that's how you use Adobe Illustrator to align objects to each other, to the artboard, and to a key object you select. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.